Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. Today I am going to be doing a video that I saw Nicole Guerrero do and I really loved the take on it. It's kind of like a take on a favorites video, but it's really products that are like you're using all the time. You're picking up all the time, like products in heavy rotation. And that is exactly what this video is. So I don't really go too in depth on like technique or how I'm doing my makeup. I don't really show you guys too much of that, but I really highlight the product and give you like a little bit of a demo on each item. Um, and yeah, everything I use, I really like, and I think my makeup turns out really good with these products consistently, like, so good. So if you guys want to see how I got this look and the products that I'm loving currently, just keep watching. Okay guys, starting out with a clean, fresh face, I have just like some vitamin C serum on my skin. Honestly, vitamin C has been like such a thing I've been loving on the skin. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. So this is back in stock. They've restocked this. Honestly, I bought a ton like when they last restocked them but this is a really sticky primer it's very similar to the elf like super grip gripping primer that they have um but i feel like this one is stickier i swear i feel like and it, on top of that this primer has like such a nice scent it smells like watermelon this is the other one i was talking about it's the power grip primer you can see i have like i have loved it and i have very little left but I really think that I loved this one more. I think it's just so much tackier. They're very, very similar. Um, so if Elf ever does discontinue this one again, the other one is really good. But I remember like this one just has like, like such a gripping power, you guys, so good. And it's a really nice bonus that it smells so nice. Honestly, this is an honorable mention, but you can see that I've used this up. But because I pretty much have like nothing left of this, I wanted to talk about this one as well because it is back in stock. And this is like a lifetime favorite moment. Next up, this is like kind of random, but I want to talk about this sponge. So this is the Ariel X Morphe sponge that he came out with in his brush collection. I have the brush collection, but that sponge, like the brushes are great, but that sponge, man, it is something else. It's incredible. This is a product I have been loving so, so, so much. I do want to mention that like my other product in like really heavy rotation, like I'm always wearing one of these two foundations. Technically, this is a skin tint and I sometimes do use it as a skin tint, but mostly this has really great coverage for a skin tint. I would say it's more of a medium wear kind of foundation. Um, and then this one is the Hard Candy Glamouflage. This is so good. It's so affordable. This one's even less affordable, even more affordable than this one. This is the Maybelline Super Superstay 24 hour skin tint. I have told so many people about this one. I have in the shade 120 as like my light shade. I do have like a darker shade when I'm like self tanned and that is 220. Just wanted to like say that because I know sometimes we're looking at other people in hopes that, you know, they can like help us match our shade. So this is like my lighter shade right now. And I'm just gonna go in and pat this out with my sponge. I think this is such a great foundation, such a good match. And you can see that I had some breakouts here and even the breakouts. Like, you can still kind of see them, but like for a skin tint, like talk about coverage. Also, it builds really, really well. So if you guys haven't tried this yet, I promise you, so worth it. Next up, I'm gonna grab the Juvia's Place um, Cream Bronzer in the shade Caramel. I really like this because the packaging is so thin, but also I really like the color. Um, this has been the cream bronzer that I have had in my like go-to makeup bag now for probably, I want to say like a month. And honestly, I just like this color is so perfect. It's like just, it's not too dark and it's so bronzy and so nice and like really warms up my face so well. And this is like very, very pigmented but not overly pigmented to where you're gonna have like a hard time blending it out. I think it blends out so easily. I'm not even using like a super expensive brush or anything to do this. I'm using an e.l.f. Duo Complexion Brush. You guys, if you've watched my channel, you know how much I love this brush. Okay, next up, if you guys haven't tried the Rare Beauty blushes yet, go grab one. I have mine in the shade Hope. I wanna grab another shade. I saw Juicy Jazz talk about the lightest shade. I really don't feel like I need it. Like, I feel like that's like my perfect blush shade. I think I chose a really great like year round shade for me, but I don't know. I kind of want to splurge and grab it. The only thing I will say about this blush is you kind of just have to be wary of like knowing how much to use because it can easily get out of hand. These products make my skin look so healthy, so healthy and so good. So next up I want to mention the Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer. I like this but I really wouldn't spend your money on this. I think that a better 
like dupe that I currently don't have in my collection because I'm waiting to kind of run out of this because as much as I like the high-end version, I think the drugstore version is honestly better, I think. And it's the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Or Hydrating... Hydrating Camo? I don't think it says camo in the name anymore. But it's like the e.l.f. version of this concealer, basically. Because Tarte Shape Tape is obviously like the regular one is a little bit more mattifying. This one is the creamy version. I also have a regular Tarte Shape Tape. I think it's interesting because in the Tarte formula, I prefer the regular Shape Tape rather than the creamy. But if I had to recommend any concealer out there, it would be the Hydrating Elf one. Even if you have dry skin, I promise you, I think the Elf one is a little bit too drying unless you have like super, super, super oily skin. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend that out and I'm gonna set it with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I have mine in the shade Fair Light. You guys, this is such an oldie but a goodie. Such a good powder, no flashback. If you haven't tried it yet, this is your sign. I'm telling you, it is worth the money, worth every penny. Go get it. Another powder, so this one I really use on the, the maybe one I pretty much only use on my under eyes and my nose. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with the Hard Candy Chilling Powder. This is such a good powder as well at drugstore also it is a very 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 finely milled powder that's the one thing i'll say about it so you just like you do kind of have to be careful with that a little bit but i personally like this one to set the rest of my face because it still leaves like a sheen to the skin and i'm just doing this with a powder puff you can get these on amazon i actually have the powder puffs i'm using right now linked in my storefront so you guys have like an easy access link it's in the description down below but like you see I'm like patting this other, literally I'm patting this powder into my skin and except for me going really ham right here, the powder basically disappears and just kind of becomes one with the skin. Um, another e.l.f. hit, you guys. Um, e.l.f. kills it, they're probably my favorite drugstore brand, if not my favorite brand entirely. This is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. One thing I really love about this powder is just like, it's so full coverage. So what I'll do is just pick up a little of my brush and I don't do this all the time now, but it's kind of like, I want to be able to dust away this powder with something on the brush already. And that way, if there are any areas that like aren't already set, the brush also does that. That's just what I like to do, especially when I want like a really good, like full coverage gram. This adds a little bit of coverage. Next up for bronzer, I'm gonna use a powder bronzer now. This is by Juvia's Place. If you guys haven't tried these yet as well, amazing. They also make blushes in the same formula. They retail for $18, also comes with a very decent sized mirror which I'm not gonna lie I have definitely used when I've been on the go and so I really actually do love that about this packaging because for such a small size it's a really nice mirror but these are the two shades I have I have mine in the shade medium and I just kind of go back between the two shades and mix them together this is a very smooth bronzer formula like you can see no powder is lifting and it just does such a good job on the skin I like to mix them because it makes them really warm on the face but so I don't really have a blush palette that I have been like obsessing over or even like a single blush that I've been obsessing over. The one that's in my go bag that I've been using currently is this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. is in the shade Peachy Love. And I, it's just like small enough that it fits really well into my like travel makeup bag. You can see this, this is like a very similar kind of like color scheme and this is like a blush palette that I used all the time from Olimar Cosmetics. Very similar vibes here this is no longer available i believe but this i think you can still probably get i've not abh normally still has their shades but i used the heck out of this um and it was just like it was lovely i honestly feel like i could keep going with this at some point um but one that i know that you guys can get is this la girl island hottie blush palette again very similar vibe but basically blushes like this, the only one that this has different is this blush right here, which is actually really great for like fall and winter. Um, I just realized, this is my first time realizing how much those blushes have in common. I feel a little silly, honestly. <laughs> But, you know, a girl a girl needs all of them, apparently. Um, okay, so you guys, I really don't have a highlighter in heavy rotation other than this one is just one I've loved for a long time. This is the shade that I like. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Glow Powder in the shade Precious Petals, okay? So you can see it's really well loved. Okay, so you guys, this is what that highlighter looks like on. You can see it's very subtle, especially the way that I did it. I intentionally made it a little bit more subtle because I've got a lot of texture and honestly recently I just haven't been loving 
highlighter. So I really want to get another one. I feel like I want something. I want makeup now that like sparks my interest and speaks to me. I'm going to use the LA Girl um, palette. But yeah, I want things that speak to me. I just don't know what they are. And I like I want to get excited about makeup again. So there's actually one product that I bought that has made me. I've only used it once, so I can't really include it in this video. But I didn't expect to love it. And it's the Jaclyn Luxe Legacy Palette from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I got mine at TJ Maxx for $15. When I saw this palette originally, I thought this was so boring. Like, I hate to say it, but, like, that's why I didn't buy it. I love everything, Jaclyn. And I thought this was so boring. I thought it looked so neutral. But honestly, this warm shade, amazing. This is my new favorite transition. I just dug my nail into that. This is my new favorite transition shade. These shades are great. I used literally all of these shades last time I did my makeup because I just wanted to, like, play around with it. I'm actually so impressed. So if you guys see this at your TJ Maxx, please pick it up. I didn't expect to love it. And the formula is so freaking buttery like I have not been that excited about a makeup product in a minute I did like it especially for mature skin you guys it's actually it's it's giving it's it's really good now I'm gonna do my brows off camera um I think you guys have seen me use this product before but I just want to shout it out really quick this is like my go-to brow combo is the elf uh, mine's a neutral brown. It's like their brow, bite-sized brow situation. You can see mine is well loved. And the ABH um, pomade, dip brow pomade uh, gel, I guess it is. I have mine in the shade soft brown. Okay, so because I'm keeping this look super, super simple, just to kind of fill in this blank space right here. Honestly, I will say, I think that the, like her best shimmer shades are these. This is not super shimmery, but like, these three, and I can't wait to use this silver right here. I don't really love the silver eye makeup, but that looks like such a beautiful silver. This is like, my eyelid is not wet at all. That like concealer that I had down is now covered in shadow a little bit. And I still think that this looks so pretty. Like it is very intense as an eyeshadow. Last but not least, just to show you guys maybe one of the deeper shades, I'm going to take the shade Bad Mousy and I'm going to just, if I need to deepen it up with the black, I will, but I don't think I'll have to. I'm going to go in with a really fine little fluffy brush. I'm just going to like line. Oh, that is so pretty. Do you guys see how pretty this looks? As you guys should know, I've been loving this mascara for a while now. I This is like a repurchase for me. It's the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. So I'm going to go in with this and pop on lashes. I'm going to go in with the Kiss Lash Jubilee Lashes. These are the ones I've been using a ton. Okay, you guys, no surprise, my favorite lip liner is my favorite lip liner. And it is LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Cafe. I have repurchased this over and over and over again. This is a newer item for me, but I really liked it. It's also by Hard Candy. And honestly, it reminds me so much of that like viral MAC lip product that people would like take out way too much product and get it all over their face. This is in the shade The One. I don't exactly know what this is called. I'll have it in the description down below, but it's one of those products where you can only click a little bit and whatever you click out is what you're gonna be able to use. So you don't wanna over click this product. Just a little bit is enough. You can see I've taken like barely any out. This is such a great like no makeup makeup like lip product. I wanted to show it to you guys with lip liner because it's really pretty. And it's also just very nourishing on the lips, which is something I really love. But I actually had to go get this out of my purse because I bought it and like didn't quit using it. So that's what this looks like. It's in the shade The One. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. It's not anything we haven't seen before. It's just a really pretty neutral makeup look. But these are the products that I've been loving for a very, very long time. Heavy, heavy rotation in my collection. And honestly, products that I would repurchase over again. Obviously with the exception of this palette. Not only because it's new, but because palettes are one of those things you just don't really quite see a lot of repurchases of. But I do really like it and I think that it's gonna be one of those things that I just don't put down and it will become like my everyday like go-to palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.